On the sixth anniversary of the Syrian conflict, there is still no end in sight. The ceasefire brokered by Russia and Turkey in the beginning of the year is precarious as the Syrian government and the opposition blame each other for violations of the agreement. As fighting continues on battlefields, the people of Syria continue to suffer. In six years of war, 300,000 people have been killed. Over 6 million have been internally displaced, and nearly 5 million are now living as refugees in neighboring countries. Here in Turkey alone, 2.8 million Syrians are now registered as refugees. These people are carrying wounds of war as they have lost loved ones, witnessed bombings, and are away from what they know as home. But in war, the ones who are most affected are the children. UNICEF has announced it's been the worst year for children. For example, we were able to confirm over 650 cases of children who were killed as a result of acts of war inside Syria this year and 850 children recruited by armed forces and armed groups to fight uh, actively in the conflict. The fight against ISIL has also complicated the situation in Syria, as different parties are currently battling within Syrian territory. Turkey launched the Euphrates Shield operation aiming to clear its borders of ISIL. But Turkey also wants to remove the YPG Syrian Kurdish militia from the area as well. Biz Turkey olarak... As Turkey, we are not disturbed by the presence of Kurdish brothers in northern Syria, but we are disturbed by a terrorist organization transforming northern Syria into a terrorist state. Declarations of autonomy in these regions have no meaning for us. Though Turkey labels the YPG as terrorists, the United States sees them as a key ally in the fight against ISIL. In March, the U.S. deployed troops in and around the Syrian city of Mambij. The Pentagon announced their presence was aimed to deter and reassure, a move aimed to prevent their allies, Turkey and the YPG Kurds, from fighting each other. Russia, a key backer of Syrian President Assad, is also a key player in the field, as the Russian flag was also seen raised high next to a Syrian flag at the military center close to Mambij. While Assad was recently quoted as saying he hoped the war would end in 2017, peace talks between the opposition and the Syrian government do not look promising. And with Russian, U.S., Turkish, Syrian and Kurdish forces all within a close distance to each other aiming to destroy ISIL, the battlefield in Syria is even more complicated than ever. Mikhail Bardavid, CGTN at the Turkish-Syrian border.